Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this video session, we'll take a look at working with text and the shape tool. And we can use the shape tool to make adjustments to the text, selecting text and nodes with the shape tool to adjust and edit text characters and more in Corel Draw. When we go to the shape tool, we're going to have three things available to us a line spacing adjustment handle, the character node or nodes, and a kerning adjustment handle. With text, we also have a properties bar. We can change the font, the size, bold, underline, do that with specific characters or selections of characters. We can change the offset, change the angle. We can go into superscript, subscript, small capitals, all caps, and more. And I'm not going to cover everything. We're just going to go over the basics. And you can go in and make some tests and do some experimenting, and you'll see how all of this works. I'll scroll down here and we've got two types of text. We've got our artistic text and our paragraph text. I'll select the artistic text and I'll go to the shape tool and you'll see that change. You'll also see the property bar change. So you'll go from the text property bar to the character or text character property bar. Now here is the line spacing adjustment handle. Left click, hold down, and I can change the difference between the lines in my text, no matter how many lines there are. Here is the kerning, or the space between the characters adjustment handle. Now, interestingly, you'll notice that if I hold down shift, I'll only change the distance between the words. So that's a hotkey for the kerning handle. Move that back in there, bring this out this way, and you can see how that works. But if I hold down shift, I'm changing the spacing only between the words and not the characters. Now here we can see the nodes, and I can select a node, then the property bar for the character will go from being grayed out to everything being in color and being able to work with that. And with a selected character, you can left click, hold down, and move that and you can see that the offset changed. I can also change the angle of that character right here based on the rotation or angle of the character. I'll hit Control Z to go back. I can also make a selection of nodes. Let's say I want to move just the corral over a specific amount. Left click, hold down lasso over to the L nodes. I'll have just those selected and I could move that word around by itself in the text and I could also change its color. I could change it from being bold to not being bold or italic based on selecting the character nodes in the text and the selection that I've made. And I'll come over here and right click to make that black again. I could also change the outline color. I'll hit Control Z a couple times to go back. So those are the basics of what we can do with the shape tool and the same thing applies with the paragraph text. Here I can left click hold down change the line spacing. Here I can change the spacing between the characters and if I hold down shift I can change the spacing between the words as a hotkey. 
Now we'll scroll down some more and take a look at some things. We can do a lot of different things with the text. Like if I want to go with larger caps on the end of my text, I could take this text up here. I'll select this, right click, bring it down, duplicate it here. Go to the shape tool. I'll select the character text for the T and then I'll hold down shift and select the character text for the S. And I'll come up here and change this to say 36 for the point size. Hit enter. You'll see that size change. And then I can take and pull these down and center them kind of like that. And I've changed the text at the beginning and the end of the two words, the T and the S. And you can see how that works. And we see this a lot in graphic design. People will make the text at the beginning and the end of a word or a couple of words bigger. That's called book capping your text. I'll hit Control Z to go back. I could come to my text. Now I could do this with the text tool too. I could just highlight these and change the colors. I'm just showing you what can be done with the shape tool. I come to this text, left click, hold down, select all of the nodes for the word text, right click, change that to red, Go to Effects, right click, change that to blue. I could come over here to Text Effects and start to really move the text around just by clicking on the nodes and moving the characters around with the character nodes. So once again, we want to be aware of how we can work with the Shape tool and the text in CorelDRAW and all the different things that we can do and what the hotkeys are and how we can use them in our graphic design process. I have some characters down here. We'll go over this one more time. Hold down shift, change the spacing between the words. There's no line here, so I won't be able to do that. Left click, hold down. I'm just going to change the spacing between the characters. It's going to do a lot of different things here. I could select different characters. Let's see. I wanted to select every other character, holding down shift with the shape tool. I'll select this and I'll select this. And I could change those to a different color, every other character. And of course you could do that by selecting the text with the text tool or highlighting it. So go ahead and wrap here concerning text and the shape tool and we'll continue in our next video session.